Thanks for tuning in. I'm Karen Lair with a look at the top news headlines for Saturday, January 11th. Steady snowfall in Idaho's mountains is certainly a welcome sight for skiers and snowboarders this weekend. Skiers up at Brundage Mountain are saying this is the best snow they have seen so far this season. Meanwhile, at Bogus Base and staff had to temporarily stop ticket sales Saturday morning for about three hours because their parking lot filled up. You know, snow is uh, the most important thing that we can offer our guests, and so we're thrilled. So um, we are, this is the tip of the iceberg in terms of this winter system coming in. So where fingers are crossed that we'll get a lot of snow in the coming days. And more snow definitely is on the way. Night skiing operations are also up and running at Bogus Basin. So slopes there are open to skiers until 10 p.m. Well, with so much snow falling in Idaho's mountains, it is a good time to talk safety as more and more people will be heading into the outdoors to take advantage of this winter weather. The Idaho Mountain Search and Rescue Unit is an all volunteer nonprofit which will search for missing people, but the organization wants to help people prevent a rescue scenario. Before going out into the backcountry, people need to be prepared with a plan and all the proper cold weather and avalanche gear needed. One of the most important things remains telling people where you are going and when you expect to return. Batteries on a note never die. Uh, it's a super important and critical tool. So anytime you're gonna travel into the backcountry, leave a note with somebody that you trust uh, about where you're going, what you're gonna look like, and then uh, a really critical part of that, of that note is leave <clears throat> some type of instruction of what to do in the event that you don't come out by a specified time. It's good advice. He also says it's a good idea to include the sheriff's phone number for the county you will be traveling in because that's who will dispatch crews in the event of a rescue. Well, it can be tough keeping kids entertained through cold winter months, and that's where the Foothills Learning Center steps in. On Saturday, some of the youngest in the Treasure Valley got to see how snowflakes form, how animals stay warm outside, and how they can stay safe in the snow. The center specializes in school field trips and seasonal activities for the community. If you want to watch that full story and learn more about upcoming events, just click on this story on 6onyourside.com. Now, Steve Liebenthal with the On Your Side forecast. And if you're one of those who likes to stay in during snowstorms, you might be staying in the next couple of days. If you're one of those who likes to play in the snow, great news for you. There is much more coming our way. Winter storm warnings in effect through Tuesday afternoon in the central mountains of Idaho, where at least a couple of feet could fall, especially at those higher elevations. Here in the Treasure Valley, no warnings or advisories, uh, but we do have the potential of some snow actually hitting the ground and sticking, especially Sunday morning, and then again Sunday evening into Monday morning, even possibly going into Tuesday with more storm systems moving in our direction. So the snow will continue, especially for the mountains, but those of you wanting to see some valley snow that will stick around, have your best hope uh, with this storm system coming in. Our computer forecast saying the potential of around two inches over the next 48 hours, starting at uh, six o'clock on Saturday and going through Monday at six o'clock. Valley locations in the mountains getting four to six inches of snow, but again, those higher peaks uh, getting much more than that, in some cases a foot or more over the next 48 hours. Again, here in the valley, a chance of a rain-snow mix in the afternoon turning back to snow in the evening, then Monday snow in the morning could mess with your early morning commute. Snow shower still a possibility on Tuesday, then a bit of a break for Wednesday before the next storm system starts to come in and that could really impact us next Saturday. For the latest news information and the latest forecast, go to 6onyourside.com.